Yo, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here once again with another brand new money glitch video. Now, this is a workaround, okay? This is a workaround to the 10 car dupe glitch that was patched earlier uh, yesterday, actually. I'm recording this at 3.30 in the morning, all right? My time. But uh, yeah, guys, I wanted to get this out for you. The 10 car dupe is back. We do have a workaround and it's still easy. It's actually even easier than before. Okay, if you could believe that. But anyways, there is a solo dupe still working. This is a two player glitch, but you can dupe 10 cars at once. The solo dupe glitch, which is using retros as well, is still working. I've heard the solo deluxo glitch isn't really working too well for most people because there is a death barrier now when you try to go into that wall breach with the deluxo. So some people are experiencing problems, some people aren't, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the other glitches that are working. The solo dupe glitch, I'll leave a link for that down in the description, so make sure you check that out, all right? Now for this glitch, once again, the founder NHJ, so big shout out to you and everybody else who contributed, I'll also put you in the description as well. So you can go ahead and just join up in an invite only session. This glitch works on PS4 and Xbox One. You need a nightclub, you need the garage level B2 and B3, all right? B2 and B3, and obviously you need one friend. All right, so like I said, this is even easier now, but the setup is still similar. Well, the setup is all still the same as before. Uh, you want however many retros or Benny's vehicles you want to dupe, you want to put those in B2, and then in B3, you want all RH8s, okay? And I'm going over all this because there's some people that might not have seen that, and that's okay. We have a workaround, and you can definitely take part in this one. So... What I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually outside and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the garages and how I have them set up just so that there's no confusion. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my friend with me just so my friend can go in and out of the uh, garages uh, seamlessly. But we're gonna go ahead and go into level B2, all right? So remember, B2 is where you wanna have all of your LG Retro Customs. Some of you may ask why are we using the Retro Customs? That is because they sell for the most, all right? Almost a million dollars fully upgraded. This is the car you wanna dupe or you can dupe other Benny's vehicles, but this is the top one. As you can see, I have 10 in here because I'm gonna be duping 10 at a time. Why not, all right? It's a 10 car dupe. We don't get these around very often. So that's level B2. I'm gonna go ahead and show you level B3 right now. So B3 is over here and I'm gonna go walk into that one and just show you how I have this set up, how I have this set up. And you know, you can see that I'm not, you know, driving you guys, all right? So all red or all RHAs in B3, that's how you want to have this set up. Obviously, guys, if you don't have 10 retros to dupe, dupe however many you have. Just put however many you have in level B2, and then however many retros are in there, that's how many you're going to dupe, all right? doesn't matter if you're doing one or 10. works for all of them. But as you can see, we're back in B2. You saw that how I did my character wheel, and I just flipped it up? That's what your friend's going to do. Just flip up the character wheel, just like that, okay? Just go back and look in case you didn't see that, but flip up the character wheel. Here is the workaround all exit warehouse okay you need to press all exit warehouse while your friend just moves up on the character wheel and has that alert up your friend just has to sit on that alert the entire time and make sure you hit all exit warehouse that's very very important okay so now i'm going to turn around and walk back in and i'm going to head into b3 okay and b3 is where we will have all of our dupes now but once again, I'm gonna repeat, your friend just needs to flip up on the character wheel. Okay, so hold down on the D-pad, flip up on, on the character wheel and just sit on that alert. That's it. And then you exit, hit all exit warehouse, go back into B3. Your friend's actually standing there, but still on the alert, can't see anything. And look at that, I have 10 dupes, all right? That is 10 dupes right there, ready to go. So it's as easy as that, that is the workaround, okay? And I'm gonna continue obviously, for the people that you know are brand new to this, all you gotta do is drive out. As you can see, I have a custom plate on here. Oh yeah, no custom plates, I forgot to say that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, plate changed when I drove out. Now there's two ways to save it, for those of you who don't know. The first way is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. All right, you, you can save it there, it's pretty easy, but there is another way to save it as well. I'm just gonna show you this method right here. Now, when it comes to the MOC, you can press right D-pad right now. I'm gonna go in, doesn't matter what you have in there. The vehicle's gonna save right when I drive in, all right? Right when I park, the vehicle is saved. That's it, we're good to go. So the problem is now I need to go back and I need to get another car. So when I do that, once I enter the nightclub, instantly it's gonna return my MOC back to storage. All right, instantly. So the way to get around that is to have a CEO garage and a mod shop, okay? And in the CEO garage, you can actually just, as long as you have empty spaces, you can bring all of these dupes in there 
and save them easily okay but you do need a mod shop as well because you need to modify something on the vehicle to keep it stick to, to stick so i'm gonna get out of my car right here and we're gonna save the next one in the ceo garage so i'm gonna run back in here and you want to go ahead and go to b3 b3 is where we have all of our dupes that's where your friend is still glitched on that screen just make sure your friend stays glitched or stays on that character selection screen okay so once you select the story mode character boom that's it now i'm gonna grab another car here this one has a custom plate so i'm gonna go ahead and drive this so you can see the plate just change easily there's no confusion i'm gonna drive out and from glitching we go to what is the, what's the new play here we go 83 wwu 556 that's our new plate so next thing i'm gonna do is since the moc has a cooldown i can't call it again but i do have a backup plan my CEO garage, I have a mod shop, and I have one empty space that I made just for this video, all right? Just for you guys, made an empty space. So I'm gonna drive in here and go to Office Garage 3. Now, once I'm in Office Garage 3, you wait for the animation, all right? Sorry if I'm a little goofy right now. It's really late, actually. <laughs> so <laughs> once I'm waiting for the animation right here, uh, eventually, after, oh, this takes forever, Okay, so it's gonna kick me out of the car right here. Spam wire triangle to get right back in the car and press right D-pad as quick as you can because this thing can brick on you and then it bricks like your whole garage. Uh, it's never happened to me, but I've heard of it happening to other people. So just make sure you do that part really quick. And once we're in the mod shop, you wanna go ahead and just modify anything on the vehicle. Just spend any money whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna pick the uh, plate color and that's it, all right? You can take this back to the office garage. You can take this outside, wherever you want. You have your dupe saved. So I recommend best thing to do really is if you're duping 10 cars at a time which you should be if you're doing this glitch all right obviously if you don't have 10 work your way up there but once you're duping 10 cars at a time i recommend just having like an entire office garage just emptied out ready to go so that you can just park them right in there you can do this really really quick so have your friend just go afk or something uh make sure every 15 minutes if you're going to take longer than that uh have them touch the controller and do something uh here actually i'll show you guys a new glitch also forgot who the founder is but do an animation and then get in the car really quick so like press the left and right stick like click them you know to do your uh your style animation and then get in the car really quick and look it should kick you out if you did it correctly and check it out frozen animation <laughs> or frozen style gesture whatever the hell it's called but uh yeah look at that two glitches for you guys a money glitch and a useless weird frozen style animation glitch <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna run around here and probably just get killed by the cops because they're still after me but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.